Hey there, this is Mrs. J. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to look at video number one of 25 days of fusion for test prep. So open up your fusion. We're going to look at a simple extrude cut and a few basic features of fusion. So we're going to go back a little bit. Okay, so you're in fusion. You want to make sure you're making new folders for your projects. So I was just working in my automata toy. Kind of tired of it. So I'm going to go to the home button. Now I've got all my projects. You can pin things as you're using them so they stay at the top. You can click a new project. I'm going to do that now. Let's click a new project. And let's not skip this part. I see some people skipping it in their automata boxes. Hopefully it'll open for me. I'm going to pause while I wait up. I'm frozen. Okay, once you get that to cooperate, you can right click and change the name. Oh, I'm going to be all frozen today. Try a new folder inside it. Okay, 25 days of fusion. If you are not having freezing issues like me, change the project name to 25 days of fusion. That's what I was trying to do, but it's not cool for me. Okay, double click. All right, let's make a new part. I've already got it opened. I know that I am in inches, but I'm going to double check. Okay, I'm going to close that data panel. So now when I'm out here, I would have to locate it because I didn't change the name. I wonder if I can change it here. Yeah, rename right here. 25 days of, maybe I was doing it wrong. Okay, there we go. Did I spell fusion wrong? I do that. All right. And I'm going to put it to the top. And I'm going to double click it. Okay, so I'll make sure I'm in there. So we have a new file here. And we're going to play around a little bit, so let's close this. Let's create a new sketch, and let's work on the top plane. Let's look at the grids down here, grids and snaps. You can have the grid on or off. It's up to you. Whenever you're in a sketch, it's going to stay there. If you're not in a sketch, you can toggle it grid on and off, right? So your preference. Okay, so we're in a new sketch. Let me go back in that sketch. And let's click on the two-point rectangle. So we always click on this and we just start dragging. Let's come over here and play with a little bit more. The sketch palette opens up. You might see it tiny. You might have to expand it. You'll see this on your exam. You can drag it. Click here. Center rectangle. I think you can also toggle that from up here. You can also choose that here, the drop-down. So two ways to do the same thing. Center rectangle. Click in the center, the origin, and we're going to dimension 2 by 2. Enter. Finish your sketch. And then let's extrude. So we need to look at extrusions. There's a different way to do this, and you should see it on the exam. One sided, you're just dragging, right? Either way, just dragging. Or we can do two sides, where you can have different dimensions top or bottom. So you can choose, right? So they're separate. Or you can do symmetric. And symmetric keeps it easy. So let's try that. Let's do two. Keep it simple. So I'm now above and below the plane, which if you didn't have your grid on, you can't really tell, right? With the grid on, you're like, oh, I'm above and below the, the z-axis there, and the, the x-axis. I'm traveling up the y. Okay, so just some things to look at while you're doing this. Um, what else can we do? Let's look at some new sketches and project geometry. So create a sketch. We're going to put it right on the top here. I'm going to grab the circle tool, click in the center, and make it 1.5 so it doesn't come out. OK, no big deal. We're going to finish the sketch. Click Extrude, which is click on your body. You can drag up in increments or you can type it in, we'll make that one. So let's repeat this process on the other side, but cut it and we'll use project geometry to do that. So grab your orbit tool for your orbit, rotate under. You can also flip the view cube around to get there, get to the bottom, create a sketch, put it on the bottom. And now instead of 
trying to make the same circle, which you know you can, 1.5. Let's project geometry. That way if you see something out on the test, you can do it too. So we're going to go create, project, which is P on your keyboard. Project, now I need to find it, but I don't see it. So I'm going to carefully rotate without selecting the object. And get it on the other side, hit escape. And when I see the circle, I'm going to click it. See how when I hover, it comes red at the bottom there? Look at that. It's telling me what it's going to do with it. So click OK. And then I want to get back underneath here. Take a look, make sure it's there. It'll be purple. Finish your sketch. And now let's extrude. We have to tell it this one. <coughs> Excuse me. This time, let's cut. So the operation says new body. New body means you're going to extrude it and make it bigger. And that joins this one and that one. But let's cut. And then you can also intersect. There's a lot you can do. So I'll be ready for that. So 0.5. Let's do 1.5. Let's get, click OK. Um, and that was no big deal what the size was, what it looks like, kind of like a little Lego piece. OK, so now let's do a couple things. Let's save. A lot of us are skipping this part. Click Save, and we'll call this um, number one. All right. So when you're doing these, uh, the, the test questions, they'll ask you to perform some operations and to turn it in, you'll have to give them some property information. So let's change properties and then do that. So let's go to the name that you just did and let's hit right click physical material. And I did it up on, on the name one. Right click physical material. Um, sometimes you don't see it, it's super tiny. See that over there? You have to expand it. You can move it if you want. It'll make you happy. Okay, so we're pretending this is a Lego piece, which would generally be ABS plastic. So we need to look at all of our choices. Ceramic, electronics, fabric, gas, glass, everything. So I clicked plastic down here, and I want ABS. And I'm just going to drag it. So that's not necessarily a color, that is a property. Plastic, it has its own weight, its own volume, its own density. Close it. Come back up to the um, number, right click, and hit Appearance. You could also just hit A on your keyboard. Um, go into your library, find a color you like, and then I'm just going to use Paint because I already have um, my material. So I'm going to drag it yellow on top. You can also choose from your recent designs, um, ones you've used in, in other designs, and they have like favorites and whatnot. So I've got my appearances and my favorites, the ones I've used and I've saved before. Okay, so let's hit enter. There should be an OK button at the bottom. I'm on a Chromebook, can't see it. Okay, and this is what will happen in your exam. It'll ask you, to um, tell me the volume or tell me the density. Um, a question will come up like that. So you're going to right click and you're going to go properties. Properties will click up over here and it gives you a whole bunch of, of um, information to choose from. Physical properties, drag it down. And then you have mass, volume, density, area, where it is in the world, <laughs> center of mass, and all that information. So this is pretty much what they ask you on the test. They leave out this part. They pre-populate the inches to the third, that cubic inches. And you would type in 15.116 if someone asked you the volume. Thanks for watching.